Ciao, I'm Enzo. I'm Celia. This is a Piazza Talk, a channel about our life in Lucca. And in the Tuscan Hills. Please hit the subscribe button. Grazie. Ciao a tutti. Still hot, so we want a summer dish. And uh, we decided to cook today tagliolini with lemon. Before we start, shall we go to New York? Let's go to New York. Let's dance. Let's dance. This girl has brought New York to Luca. We need the following greens. We need the tagliolini. We need the lemon. For me and you, Celia, we need one lemon. But if you have more people, of course, you have to add more lemons. We need a bit of herbs. I decided we can have thyme this time. But if you don't have thyme, you can use uh, basil leaves or even parsley. We need butter, extra virgin olive oil. I think we should mention that um, I put a stop to making the tagliolini. It is so hot. I just said it's too hot to make pasta. Yeah, so we decided to get some uh, egg pasta from the store. The first thing to do is to remove the zest from the lemon and we got to use it. So that is the right side of the grater. Okay, we want to make sure that we don't get the piece, just the zest. Of course, you need uh, lemons that aren't uh, treated, organic no. lemons for this. Yes, this is some work. And you can smell it is so lemony. This is the zest. Next thing, I'm going to get the juice from uh, this lemon. And I'm using a strainer because I want to, uh, I don't want to add the pips and the large bits. Now, this is the butter. The butter here. I'm going to add a little bit of olive oil, like, I mean, uh, like a teaspoon of olive oil, like this. Boiling. So, sea salt. Okay, next stage now, we need to prepare the sauce. So, we need a very low heat here. We've got to melt the butter uh, with a bit of olive oil. The butter tends to smoke, so the olive oil in some ways reduces possibility. Okay, now we've got to melt the butter, and now we've got to add uh, uh, the lemon zest. Still on a very low heat, so we want to release all the essential oils, so the lemon zest into the butter. Now, it is good here, and uh, I want to add the lemon juice. I'm also going to reduce the amount of liquid in the frying pan. You can see that it's reduced. I mean, it's already turned down at the lowest level here. I got to turn up the pasta pan. We're going to put the pasta in. I got to stir this, so. And we need just need the three, between one and two minutes. Very short time. In the meantime here, I'm going to add the thyme. Lemon thyme is a wonderful combination. Pasta is ready, I turn it off, and I'm going to add the pasta to the sauce. And also, I want to add uh, some pasta water to make uh, the sauce a bit more creamy. Okay, now we need to toss the pasta and we can serve it. I can smell the lemon and I'm going to add more thyme, sprinkle thyme on the top. 
and I like rather bit extra than this. That's the most beautiful breeze. It's absolutely perfect because strangely enough, even though it's so hot, I'm hungry. I can't explain why, but I have. And somehow it's really fresh and light and perfect. And what's more, I mean, how many ingredients need? Oil, um, butter, butter, bits of herbs and lemon. Four ingredients, 10 minutes and you're there. <laughs> Well, uh, today we've got a really special friend from how many years have we known each other? A long, long way back. And this girl has brought New York to Luca and has started a dance project here for many years. But a couple of years ago, made this old garage yeah into a fantastic dance studio and we're outside just because the dancers are inside so we can actually hear each other speak so stephanie when actually did you start this how long have we actually known each other yeah well we knew each other way before this started but then um, dance italia as a program started in 2011. 2011. so we've been here for a while the building we got in 2019 but oh. last year was the first year that we were able to do anything post covid and what exactly is Dance Italia? Dance Italia is a month-long dance intensive for contemporary dancers. Uh, they have a weekly schedule. Starts in the morning, it's six hours a day of dancing. There's some cultural immersion. Um, they study a variety of contemporary techniques. Uh, and it's all contemporary dance? It's mostly yeah. contemporary dance. There are some contemporary dance techniques that require a ballet warm-up, so we do have some ballet classes. It depends on the repertory. And so are these dancers, are they students? Are they young professionals? They're both, actually. Uh, the majority are students, I think, with the hopes of becoming professionals or somehow going into the dance world. Um, we have a few who have already graduated who are professional dancers now. That's the minority of people who come here. Uh, generally, it's they're still in college, grad school, kind of figuring it out. And why does an American dance project decide to invest in yeah, Luca? That's such why a are you here? <laughs> I'm here because I came here. I ran away to here. I don't know if you know this, or when the World Trade Center went down, yeah, yeah. I live by the World Trade Center, very close, just a few blocks away. And so we basically ran away to Italy. Uh, and when I was here, I realized that all of these dance studios were closed all summer and started teaching at Elisabetta's at Fuori Centro and thought, oh, well, the studio's closed over the summer. I'm going to ask her if I could use her space. And that was really the beginning. So I found myself here running away from 9-11. I met a lot of people in the dance world. I ended up teaching at Elisabetta's studio. Uh, I love the anonymity that I was able to enjoy here I did I had nothing to lose I didn't know anybody there was no expectation and so I personally felt like as an artist I found myself in Italy and so I thought huh why why not try to give that experience to other people why not take people out of their comfort zone out of their ordinary out of the place where they feel judgment and expectation and bring them to a beautiful place it's you know quite aesthetically pleasing here in Italy and and just give them time and space to explore and find themselves and seems to be what happens every summer I mean it so that's why it's so important that they come out of their safe space yeah and they uh, they find a new direction yeah. in, in their dance or their art or yeah or it, there's just something about being anonymous and yeah. sort of just like exhaling all of the expectations even self expectation putting yourself on new soil in a new place and it's like anything can happen. It feels like there's an opening that is, uh, it could happen anywhere. And for me, it happened to me in Italy. And so I fell in love and have this relationship. And I found artists here who I love working with. And so that became my place. I think you can do that in many places. Um, but for me, it was here in Italy. And so that's why Italy. And, and Luca, was it by just by accident because you met Elisabetta? <laughs> it was actually by accident because I met Dominique. Dominique. Oh, dear. Right. Incredible. Hi, Dom. Hi, Dom. She was the rainmaker of everything because I was performing in Fabi Europa. And she saw a performance and said, oh, I'm teaching at the studio in Luca. 
you're looking for a teacher, would you be interested? And that really was the beginning of everything here in Luca. Because, I mean, actually Luca has this reputation of being quite provincial, quite close, and there you are, a contemporary dance company coming into perhaps not the place with right. the most open-minded, right. <laughs> pretty right. nicely. Right. In it. Uh, so, I, have you integrated at all with the, with the city? Uh, we, I don't know what you mean by integration. I mean, we've spent a lot of money here. All the people we bring in spend a ton of money here. So just for that reason alone. And yeah, we, we bring a lot of culture. The Comune supported us last year. Do you want uh, people to come and see, do they exhibit the dances? Can the locals come in and see you? Locals can come and see us. This year, our performance is at Real Colegio. We do, so we have been in, sort of integrated in that sense. They invited us. They've given us their stage, they've given us a platform, and so we're able to in, um, have public performances there, August 5th, this year. So uh, will be a culminating that. performance. And, and it's actually not in the Royal College, is it? It's in the it's in, the kiosk, of, uh, in Santa Catarina, and it is actually a beautiful space, yeah. both for art and dance, and I, I love contemporary against. Right, incredible. It, it just yeah. works really well. Yeah, incredible. Um, and so it's a really nice space. Yeah. Uh, so everybody should come along. The ultimate goal is it. to have performances here. We need to figure out how to black out the windows. There's a lot of light. And yeah. until we can do that, it can't be a formal performance space. But sort of the last phase, like this is up and running as a building, but the last phase is to figure out how to darken the windows, have a complete white space, cover the floor, have projections, have it be a place where we could have multimedia sort of projections, installations, all of that. But we need support for that and that's sort of down the road. We need to fundraise for that, you know, get and lighting, uh, the whole thing. What happens for the other 11 months of the year to this building? Yeah, it's a good question. The, uh, right now we have somebody who's interested in renting it out for 30 weeks for a program, for a contemporary dance program. We have so a few. you'd like to open up to, to Italian Absolutely. Uh, I mean, dance students? Yeah, the ideal is it would be a cultural exchange and be really yeah. like 50-50 foreign and Italian. That would be so good. So that good. Be, I mean, I just think this is a really lovely space. I've just fallen in love with it as a space. Thank you. Yeah. We're now going to talk to two of the students and see what they gained from this. And we're also uh, going to take you in to look at some of the dance. And that date to remember is August, August 5th. 5th in the cloisters of Santa Catarina, which is just by San Frediano in the center of Luca. So Free performance. Free for all. Free for all. So come and support these young artists. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> so these are two students from Dance Italia and they kindly agreed to talk to us. So where do you come from? I'm from Regina, Saskatchewan in Canada. Oh, and I'm from Dallas, Texas. And I'm actually, I don't, I don't think we said your name. So you're? I'm Sheena. Oh, I'm Jenna. And you're, you do dance as a uh, you're learning to be professional dancers? Yes. Um, you're in college? Yes, or? college. I just graduated in the summer. Um, and then I'm at SMU in Dallas, um, and I'm studying dance and film, so BFA, BA, and then I also apprentice with a company in Dallas, um, dance company in Dallas. So you both intend to, to become professional dancers? That's the goal. Yes, <laughs> hopefully. <laughs> and so what do you think coming here, is it your first time in Europe first? Do you um, not my first time in Europe, but first time in Italy. This is my first time tourist and dancer. <laughs> Very exciting. What do you think you gain from being from being here as dancers? Um, I think definitely a community, a room full of new faces, new movers, and um, it's been just beautiful, like the time to just be present with myself, with everyone else. Yeah. And just being able to do this all in Italy, so gaining a new kind of cultural experience is really cool too, so. And does being in Italy, does it affect? Has it changed you as dancers? Has it changed you as people? I think it's definitely a different, it's definitely a different culture over here in both just regular and dance. Um, I think there's so much appreciation for the art, so I think I'm definitely gonna bring that back with yeah. me. It's definitely something more tangible and alive. Yeah. I can feel it here more. So many street performers, and it's, that's just so fun to me to be able to see. Have you managed to meet any Italians? Okay. Yeah, we yeah, met them. Like, yeah. yeah, we made friends with the waiters, the gelato places. <laughs> you know, they know my, they know me by name. They know my orders. <laughs> <laughs> so 
<laughs> makes you feel like a local. <laughs> You'll take a bit of Italy in your heart. A lot of Italy. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you both for talking to us. Yes. And you enjoy you. investing your time. Thank you for watching. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe, leave a like and activate the notification bell. You just need our Google account and it's free. It helps our community enormously. Thank you very much.